Cold fronts. We talk about them all the time when they appear. When we talk about cold fronts here in Florida, especially during hurricane season, they can really change the game when it comes to tropical storm paths. A cold front is basically a boundary where cooler, drier air pushes into warmer, more humid air. As that front drops down from the north and moves across the southeast, it can shift the winds higher up in the atmosphere. And those winds, what we call steering current, you probably heard me say that, are what guide tropical systems. So when a cold front moves into the region, it often creates a kind of opening or weakness in the high pressure system that usually keeps storms tracking west. That weakness can pull a tropical storm or hurricane more northward, even curving it back out to sea. That's why we often see storms turn away from Florida or the Gulf when a strong front moves in. Now, it's not just about steering. Cold fronts can also bring in dry air and increase wind shear. Two things tropical systems, they don't like. That can either weaken a storm or stop one from developing in the first place, but if there's still a lot of moisture around, these fronts can also trigger strong thunderstorms, especially right over Florida, right here. So while they can help steer storms away, they can also spark some rough weather of their own. Bottom line, cold fronts are a major player in our weather, especially as we transition into fall. They can steer storms, weaken them, or sometimes stir up severe weather right over us.